Hey guys, Bubble Pop Kids here, and it is Nickelodeon Slime Time. Rats now. Bring on the slime bubble. Bring it on. Shout out to do this video today to get a little crafty. We are going to be making five different kinds of slime. In this one box, we have all the ingredients, all the fixins to do it. So I flipped this little Nickelodeon box around. I actually got it backwards, and it's going to show us the five types. We're gonna be mixing and making. We're gonna whip up some scented slime. Ooh, I wonder what that's gonna smell like. Some neon, it kind of looks like gak. Ooh, how lovely, never made this before. We got some foam slime. Ooh, this one's pretty bubble. I like the glitter. Looks like galaxy. And last but not least, the fifth and final, we're gonna make some glow slime. How do you even make that? Another plus that I am loving about the slime kit, it actually includes everything you need. You don't gotta go and look for bowls and spoons. It has the glue, the slime activator, the colorant, mixing bowls, and pretty much has everything. Love that. Hi, right, you little slime martinis. I'm not gonna keep talking. I'm just gonna open up this box and stop mixing. Let's see how this goes. Okay, you little slime martinis, get ready for some ooey gooey fun. Yes. We got the bag of slime making goodies. This is so cool, you guys. Got everything you need. I see some paint. I see tons of glue. Ooh, we got some glitter. And I lined all this good stuff up, kind of organized it. This is everything we're working with. I mean, we got tons of bottles. We got about five different kinds of paint. This is probably for the neon. Oh, that looks so Nickelodeon ish. Like taste Nickelodeon ish with those colors. We get these little containers, these little plastic slime jars that we can store it in when we're done with the matching lids. Very nice. And of course, if you're going to be making that foamy slime, you get these little styrofoam balls. I love these. They're going to make it crunchy. And this golden glitter. Alrighty guys, nothing left to talk about. Might as well jump on into it. I got all my stuff here and my directions. Let's try this. Woo! And it looks like I'm kicking it off with some neon. I'm gonna go for that orange neon. I got my little plastic measuring cup. They actually only gave one of these, so I guess I'm gonna have to wash it out in between. Not so bad. And I got my glue here. I'm gonna pour 15, woo! 15 ml into here. Pop it in the bowl. Next, I'm gonna get 30 ml of water. I have this filled up right here and pour it into the glue. Let me mix this up a little bit. It's just the glue and the water and then I'm gonna put that orange, I guess it's like paint, to make that pretty color. Let me open this and put two of these spoonfuls right in there. Looks a little bit like orange pudding. There it is. Next step and the final step for this one, we've got to add the slime activator. I have actually never used a slime activator. I've only used like liquid starch or borax. So I'm so curious to see how this works. Pour some in. Alrighty guys, and after about five minutes of mixing, here is our neon slime. It's actually not too neon, it's almost like a peachy color, but it is pretty good. It seriously feels like gack.
probably seeing like little styrofoam balls. I actually didn't put those in. I had them on my testing table from like a squishy I cut open the other day. So, got some little styrofoams floating in there. Bubble teams, we did it. Pretty much a success. We made our first little Nickelodeon slime, the neon color. Let me just pack it into this little container and make some more. Store it. We made some neon. Next, we are making some foamy slime. I have my little blue paints, got my little styrofoam balls, and all the other fixins here. Let's do it. Wow, you guys, and not only is this gonna be blue foamy slime, it is scented. This blue paint right here, oh, it smells like blueberries. I think this one is scented as well. That is crazy cool. Just mix it up. Now that my glue and water and scented paint is mixed, I'm just gonna pop in those little styrofoams. Look at that a lot of them. Ooh. It's looking so good. That is going to be so foamy. It almost looks like flume. So the final step is your slime activator. Pour some in. About two minutes later, about two minutes of mixing this stuff up, you have your blueberry scented phloem. <laughs> this smells so good, you guys. It smells like candy. And I think it came out perfect. Look at that. So, so cool. Unbelievable to think that just a little bit of glue and water can make this crazy foam. It's so foamy, smells good, super stretchy, and it's actually kind of moldable. You can kind of roll it. Look at that. We got two down, three more to go. Let's keep going. We are about to make slime number three and why not make some glitter slime. We got this golden glitter. This is so, so pretty. And for this one, we are using clear instead of the white glue. Got my slime activator and bowl. Okay, so I have the glitter, the glue, and the water. Have an 
added the activator yet. Just gotta mix this stuff up. And then we will finish it off. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> so, so pretty. It's like jewelry. I think our little teeny slime is cooked up. Here it is, you guys, woo. It is golden. It's almost like a golden putty. Woo. Love that. One, two, three, all stacked up. Let's keep going. Two more to make. Got my setup for making the fourth slime here. I am going for that pink scented. Ooh, I can only imagine the blue was like blueberry. This is probably like a strawberry. And instead of just making some plain, I am gonna add some more foamy balls. I'm gonna make some more foamy slime. I love the blue one so much. So we gotta make some pink. Let's do it. Pink is bubblegum. Oh, it's like a cotton candy bubblegum. Look how cute that is. It looks like nail polish. Oh, it smells so good. So sweet. And in just about two minutes, it is finally finished. This is probably the easiest slime I've ever made. Something about that slime activator, just like, <laughs> it gets it going really quick. So much quicker than the borax. Look at that. Oh, it smells so good. Cotton candy bubblegum, foamy. My favorite color, pink. Jeebus. Oh boy, I think I found my favorite. You guys, I could seriously play with this all day. It is so, so stretchy. It smells so good. It's so soft. I think we're gonna make some green glow in the dark. I actually don't even have another container, but woo, still gonna make it. Oh, go easy with your homemade slime. It's precious. This little bottle right here, it is not like labeled, but I think it's probably the glow activator. That's what I'm thinking, so I'm just gonna pour it in. Hopefully it works.
and bam. Within like 20 minutes, I finished the kit, the final slime. Green glow in the dark. Hopefully it's gonna glow, but if it doesn't, still came out really good. So smooth. And I turned down the lights. You guys, it is not too dark in here. It's kind of like the middle of the day, but this stuff is actually glowing. It has like a fluorescent glow to it. Wow. Can't believe this is like homemade. And there you go, the Nickelodeon Slime Kit. You guys, I have never done a slime kit before, and after this one, I have to get more of these. They are so easy to follow, so simple, and I think they turned out amazing. All different ones, especially the scented. And I'd love it for you little bubble teens to leave me a comment and let me know out of all the slimes I made today, what was y'all fave? Hope you enjoyed it guys and we are gonna have so many more fun videos coming up on the show we're gonna have slime squishies lip balm you name it we are bubble pop kids and if you'd like to subscribe to our channel just click this big yellow bubble with the bubble gum machine and subscribe have a great day you guys